folks, Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking 13 here, and today I am very excited to return to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And this time, I'm going to be going back in time in my save games to a side quest that I never got around to that is here in the Kaer Morhen region in Witcher 3. If you guys are not familiar with Kaer Morhen, it is central to both Geralt's story and the story of the Witchers in general. A hundred years ago, Kaer Morhan was the home of the Witcher School of the Wolf, but thanks to propaganda and general anger amongst the population and the peasantry, with publications like the Monstrum that laid out the Witchers as monsters who would come in the night and steal your children to make them into new Witchers, the peasantry rose up and in the Witcher universe's own version of the Frankenstein monster story, the mob both discovered, surrounded, and laid siege to Kaer Morhen. The furious peasants, most likely with the help of some of these mages that had helped to foster the distrust of the witchers, did manage to smash their way into Kaer Morhen, and once inside, they massacred all of the witchers who were training and staying there. Thankfully, not all of the witchers from the School of the Wolf were actually at the fort at the time, Many were out on the path, and they would return to what was essentially the remnants of their school and of their kind. In the years since, there are still witchers that winter at Kaer Morhen, but they are a dying caste with no new witchers being trained since the attack on the fort. In this video, I'm going to be exploring the Bastion, an area of the Kaer Morhen region where, at one time, young witchers were trained in the ways of the path. It's a side quest that I discovered pretty early on, but set aside, and I'm going back in time in my save game, like I said, to finish the exploration, but without missing out on anything for you guys. As I head down out of the Kaer Morhen fort itself, I'm gonna lead off our adventure today with a quote from the actual Blood of Elves novel from the author of the Witcher series, Unje Subkowski, and thank you to viewer Brat Kadoka for helping me out with that pronunciation in the comments of my Witcher 3 review. They rode through another ravine and crested an oval hill. From there, they could see the ruins of Kaer Morhen, huddled against the cliffs up ahead. The partially demolished trapezoid of its outer defensive walls, the remains of its barbican and its gateway, and its barrel-shaped keep rising up like a stunted column. Oh man, that view. That is incredible. It really does feel like this fortress is just nestled up here in the Blue Mountains. If you guys aren't familiar with my Witcher gameplay style, the commentary is going to be pretty low-key. I'm definitely a full-on immersion player. I want to see all the little details and take everything in and kind of let the game speak for itself as far as the experience goes. Oh. I just took a potion. Had my UI turned off there. To get to the Bastion, I think we've got to go hey down this road, hang a right, and then head up that path right there. Run, Roach. We're going to pause right up here for a second because I think we have a great Not view so of the fast, fortress. Turn that UI back off. That is just beautiful right there. I think I hear a bear too. Oh, 
Oh, yep, definitely a bear. A bear fighting wolves. Roach, get out of the way. Oh, two bears. All right, two bears. Hmm. Let's go for Igni. Oh, that barely hurt him. Okay, yeah, he hits really hard. He's level 16. Get him with a bomb right there. At least the wolves are a distraction here. There we go. One beer down. Two bears down. Do I have my silver sword out? Okay. Just a level five wolf, thankfully. Wait. Those were berserkers. Monster hair, berserker hide, raw meat, bear fat. Berserkers are possessed humans, or I guess more exactly, cursed humans. They're mainly seen in Skellige. The Skellige Isles, not here in the Blue Mountains. That's really unusual. That explains why Geralt drew his silver sword. The medallion must have been vibrating. The warns of magic. Also explains why they're hitting so hard. Do I have the world attack yet? I do not. So I can't do my spins with this uh, level character. There we go. Igni still works great, though. Is that a second Berserker? What just hurt me? Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause here, seeing we're already in the thick of things, to check out my equipment. Got the feline armor. This Skellige Longsword is a bit more powerful than my current one, but with less effects applied to it. Hmm. That sword is a bit fancier than I'm looking for, I think. Let's just go with the nice, plain Skellige Sword. My inventory is pretty full, too. Okay, Roach. Sorry for the delay. Let's try this again. Where's Let's the path? Go. Let's go ahead and toggle that UI back off again. I think it should be just up here. Yep, there's one of the training rails right there. Come on, Roach. This should be it. And it's got a fast travel. The old Bastion. We trained here as boys. Before the trial of the grasses. For those of you not familiar with the Trial of the Grasses that Geralt is referring to, it was the chemical process that turned 
Witcher trainees into actual mutants. And gave them their abilities to help hunt monsters. Now when fighting wraiths, I should be able to use a Yurden trap here to pin them in place in this realm so I can actually hit them. If I can get them into the trap though. Kind of toying with me here. He just went right through the wall. I can't complain too much. I guess he is technically a wraith. There goes one. Nice try. Haunted. Wait behind me. I saw him on the map. <laughs> Caught him with the R while he was still in the circle. some roasted chicken here. Okay. I'm gonna grab the loot off of these guys. And then we're supposed to search for what has bound the wraiths here. I'll go ahead and grab my Torch too. Where is my torch? There it is. Lots of rats. Medallions hopping, but I can't see a thing. Maybe the lamp will reveal more. Ah, I've got to use Kira's lamp, which helps me connect with ghosts. It's a main quest item. A witcher usually fights with a sword, silver or steel. But he must know how to use all weapons. Battle axes, picks, slingshots. Archery training today. Miss the target. You owe me 50 push-ups. Hit it. You owe me 20. Now move! here with the rats. There's a skeleton there. Crushed under the burnt out scaffolding. There's something back here it looks like. Diagram, Wolven Steel Sword, and Varen's Journal. Let's see what Varen's Journal is. Ah, 
Ha, ah, there it is. Elgar's gear is fantastic. I knew it at once as soon as I found it. Right away, I said every new Witcher we train should be given such equipment. That is, if we are serious about making monster slayers out of this band of prissy schoolboys. Okay, so that journal is actually related to the wolf school armor hunting quest where I can hunt down some of the old armor plans from Karen Morhan. Let's see if we can find any more signs of ghosts up here. What's that supposed to be? Swaying side to side like a reed in the wind? Head up! Guard up! Faster! Faster! Looks like a balance training of some kind. You walked away from practice without my permission. You know that? Do not stop. Bleeding is no excuse. Now take off that bandage and get back to your training. You'll see to your wound when I say you're done. Harsh. That's for sure. You walked away from practice without my permission. You know that? Do not stop. Bleeding is no excuse. Now take off that bandit. Ah, here we go. Is that a sword or an egg beater? Strike from the wrist, not your elbow. Again. Ashton's haunted by the ghost of a boy who trained here and died here. Need to bury his remains. Maybe he'll leave then. Oh, there he is. So now I've got to find his remains, which it would appear would be up here somewhere. Must be his ghost that haunts the bastion. Maybe he'll leave if I bury his bones. A horde? Something's happening. You're to hide. Wait till I come back. Yes, I know you've trained with swords. You're still shit with them. I want you behind those rocks and keep your mouth shut. Pitchfork. No massacres complete without one. Hmm. It sounds like the boy in training was killed during that attack so many years ago on Kaer Morin, killed by peasants' pitchforks. Wow, again, what a view. So now we have to find a good place to bury him, and I'm seeing more wraiths down here as well. Whoa there, Geralt. Where did that ladder go? Well, that works. <laughs> I'm going to fight these wraiths first because I don't want to get caught by surprise. There's a whole horde of these guys. Wraiths, they'll try to stop me. Oh, they're just little sudden. Put Yurden down there. Where'd the other one go? 
Come on, come closer. Two quick slashes should do it for each one. There we go. Now we can burn the body, it would seem. Take care, kid. Wow, I actually leveled up there. Looks like Geralt has meditated through the night and buried the boy with full Witcher honors, including a steel and a silver sword. Well guys, that was a pretty short quest, so I think I'm going to explore just a bit further. I thought I saw a treasure chest over here. Dwarven Blade. Vryhead Brigade Sword. And quite a few crafting materials and coins. A glyph, timber, and ruby dust. And yet more Witcher Swords. Looks like someone has been here. Pretty recently. Well, that Dwarven Blade is weaker than what I had, but it has two rune slots. A good critical hit bonus, too. So, I'll do two attack power runes, which will increase its power. That might bring it up to at least match the level of the sword that I tossed aside. I'm going to turn that UI off again. Anything in here? Nothing there. A pretty small training ground. And one that is uh, pretty much destroyed completely. Those peasants and mages did not mess around. Alright guys, let's take a look and see if there's anything else that I haven't explored yet. Uh, I've been to that cave as part of the main quest, so let's just... ride over here and see what's on the map right there. Ooh! And out here too. That's pretty close. Looks like a battlement from the Bastion. Alright, Assassin's Creed Geralt. <laughs> yeah, hop back down there. Where are you going? Don't think there's any treasure here. Just goats. Okay. Let's ride over here and see what that is. Come on, Roach. I might have to actually just ride down the hills here because Take it easy. more bears, but just level sixes. Okay, they still pack a punch though. You guys and your fancy fur are really hitting my frame rate hard. Can I get down over here? I think I can. Oh, 
Whoa, okay. Nope, can't. Definitely can't. That is a steep drop off. Okay. Let's go down over here and then take that bridge down there. For those of you wondering why I'm not exploring the tower up there, that's for a uh, armor hunting side quest that I've already completed. Even in this save. It's a real neat location though. I just don't want to spoil it. Oh wow, there's a dam here, an iron mine. Lots more bears across there too. You know guys, I don't think I've actually explored this iron mine yet. Let's see what's going on back here. Slow now. Got a overturned cart. And an entrance to the iron mine. An iron mine. Depleted centuries ago. Okay, I hear knocking. I don't know what that is. Hardened leather. Some steel. Okay, that's not my imagination. Something's knocking so hard that everything is shaking. Something behind these roots. Oh. An elemental, summoned by a mage and left as a sentry. Alright. Level 30. Here we go. Let's get Quen up. Get my shields. As Geralt said, this elemental was probably summoned by one of the mages during the attack. And left behind. Okay, well, R is not super effective against him. How about a stun bomb? Ow, that got me too. Got me more than him. I've really got to get some damage in here. Let's put an oil on my sword. Sectoid, Hanged Man's Venom, Beast Oil, Vampire, not Hybrid Oil, maybe Relict, no, no, Elemental Oil, that's what we're looking for, should give us some damage bonuses. He's collapsing the cave here. And it appears that the cave wall is actually stuck. He's created an arena of jittering boulders. I don't know if that's a glitch or intentional, but it's kind of scary because I have less room to roll now. He hits hard. 
Okay, maybe it wasn't a glitch. Because he pinned me in there and hit me hard. Now I just gotta return the favor. There's some dodges here, some rolls. Ooh. I love how the Quinn shield ends up on the ground nearby after I get hit hard. It's awesome. Well, I blinded myself again, too. <laughs> and then Geralt missed. Alright guys, he's getting pretty low on health. Ooh, I blocked his attack at the last second. There we go, there's a stun. So for him it just lasts for a second. Ooh. So it is kind of like an arena he's creating. I think that was a new attack that they added. I don't think the stones are supposed to vibrate like that. Then again, they're not real. Who's to say what magic stones are supposed to do? Uh, he's kind of pent himself out there. I agree, Geralt. Time to end this. Oh, let's get out of the way. The Witcher's Forge. Elemental Essence. Ooh, there's some mysterious stuff here. Diagram, Wolving Gauntlets. Okay. What was that quest, though? Okay, guys, I had to do some Googling, but I've discovered the secret for this hidden quest that I can't even find in my quest list. I need a tome. A book hidden back here at Kaer Morhan itself. The book that I need is Monstrum or A Betrayal of Witchers, Volume 2. And that's going to be Volume 2 of that book that I said in the beginning of this video helped to enrage the peasantry and turn them against witchers. I haven't even seen a Volume 2 for this book, so I'm actually very curious to figure out what it might be. And it's supposed to be hidden in one of the towers here. I'm just very surprised that I haven't looted it already, me being me. Supposed to look back here behind the kitchen in the old grand hall of Kier Morhen to the back tower. And it's supposed to be in a chest back here. This must be something that I missed entirely, even on my original playthrough, which is, for me, very surprising. Empty bottle. Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers, volume Monstrum, two. Or a portrayal of witchers, 
Somebody's notes on the first page. And Axeman's trousers. Let's read what we have here. Monstrum or a Betrayal of Witchers Volume 2. For it is well known that when a Witcher inflicts torment, suffering, and death, he experiences a semblance of pleasure and delight, the kind a normal and righteous man feels only when performing his marital duties with his spouse. From this, it clearly follows that the Witcher is, in the very matter of his being, a defiler of nature, an immoral and loathsome degenerate, born from the darkest and rankest depths of hell, for only one such as the devil himself can derive pleasure from suffering and torment. Note in margin, the book is a key, the mines near Kaer Morhen. Notes describe how to open a passage in the mine. Might be worth seeing what's down there. Okay, so it looks like there's just a bit of a glitch um, if you discover the cave first where you don't get any kind of instructions for uh, where to find the book. And like I imagine a lot of people, I found the cave first. So, now that I have found the tome, let's head back to the cave and see what's hidden inside. Okay guys, back into the iron mines we go. This time with the notes from Notes say I gotta place the book in the right spot. From Monstrum. I'm gonna imagine that the right spot is the altar. Medallions humming. There's magic here. I'm seeing some dead wolves here. I don't know what is going on back here. Search the mysterious no chamber. forge. Medallion sensing magic. Ought to look around. A magic forge? Got some water here. Bell and Long Sword, Rusty Novigrad Sword, Rusty Skellige Sword. Huh. A blacksmith's bellows. Stand down, be gone. This place belongs to Radmir. Radmir of Tor Karnet. He was flayed alive during Falka's rebellion. A long time ago, that. You lie! Who are you? I am fire. This forge is soul. I am the flame that tempers steel. Listen, just want to look around. Intruder, I cannot allow this. I will not allow it. Fire. Whoa. Looks like a fire elemental. Oh wow, the forge is so hot I can't even get close to him. Oh man. This is a painful fight. Okay, one of my swords is pretty damaged here. Let's eat a ham sandwich and correct that issue with my sword gonna use one of my repair kits here. The journeyman's repair kit. 
brings it back to 90%. And do we have any more elemental oil? Yes, we do. That's going to come in handy. Man, this guy hits hard. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get one of my uh, swallow healing potions out before my health gets too low here. Um, I have forgotten what it looks like. Full moon. Enhanced cat. Oh, it's the orange one. Swallow it is. What? Lost your nerve? He is burning the whole room here. It seems like in front of him is where you don't want to be. Do a second swallow and a ham sandwich. I'm here get some hits in. Get Quinn back up. Ooh, very glad I had Quinn up there. That would have hit really hard. Quinn again. Got him. Eyes out. Let's see what's behind the hearth. And out he goes. Gollum's heart. Anything else over here? Armor repair kit. That might come in handy after this. The Slaughter of Sintra book. A few more books I can't pick up here. Some water and some beer. Someone placed an illusion here. Remove the illusion. Oh, well, Dave, don't stand in the fire. There's still embers there. A secret compartment behind an illusion. It has to be hot back here. Master crafted woven armor? Eternal fire executioner's armor. A very fancy looking sword and a silver sword as well. I am seeing that I am overburdened. Drop you. Uh drop you and you. That blade, that steel blade, looks amazing. Guevanel. That is a bit weaker than my current silver sword, but I like how it looks. Of course, I definitely can't use the master crafted woven armor just yet. What a find, though. A cache of hidden armor. I'm going to put a couple of runes on this sword. It's got a chance of bleeding. So, let's add a few more chances for bleeding. And let's avoid the fire pit. So this is the Hidden Witcher Forge. It is wild that I had completely missed this little side quest on my first playthrough. I'm going to have to go back in my main save game and check all this stuff out because I had no idea that there was so much left back here. For now though guys, I'm going to call this a successful expedition. We've checked out the training fort on top of the hill and the old iron mine which had a lot more secrets than I was expecting. 
I think all that leaves is for me to find my way out of bear country here and get back to Kaer Morhan. I'm going to go across the dam and through the bear cave it looks like. Grief, more bears. And more bears. I give this one a bit of a cut as I go by. Ooh, that hurt him pretty bad. Well, that's one less bear at least. I'm really wondering how many of those are actually monsters and not just normal bears because that's a bit of an unusual occurrence to have so many. Anyway though guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. I'm going to go ahead and put Roach back in the stables here at what's left of Care Morhan. And until our next adventures with Geralt of Rivia and the Wisher 3, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.